In this example, taken from our textbook, it deals with two conductors in parallel. It reads as follow. A copper conductor that is 725 meters long is connected in parallel to an aluminium conductor of the same length. When a current of 200 amps is passed through the combination, the current through the aluminium conductor is 75 amps. The diameter of the copper conductor is 6 millimeters. Now before we look at the questions, let's just look at the information given. So the length of copper and aluminium are both 725 meters. The resistivity for copper is 0.17 micrometers. High total is 200 amps and the current through the aluminium branch is 75 amps and the diameter for copper is 6 millimeters. Now to calculate the uh, resistance for copper, let's just take a look at the formula. To calculate the resistance, we have the resistivity for copper times the length of the cable divided by the area. Now we don't have the area, but we do have the diameter. So to calculate the area, it is pi d squared over 4. So therefore, to substitute pi and the diameter is it's in millimeters to, so to convert millimeters to meters we divide by 1000 square over 4 and so therefore the area is going to be 2,827 times 10 to the power of minus 5 and it's meters square now we can go ahead and substitute Okay, just remember the resistivity must be in ohm meters. So we need to multiply by 10 to the power of minus 6 to convert ohm meters to, sorry, to convert micrometers to ohm meters. The length is 725 meters and the area of 2,827 times 10 to the power of minus 5. And therefore, the resistance for copper is 0.436 ohms. Right, let's take a look at question B. Calculate the volt drop across this combination. Now, voltage stays the same in parallel. So the voltage for copper will be the same as the voltage for aluminium. Now, all the information given thus far is for the copper conductor. We have the current for copper and we have the resistance for copper. Current through the copper cable is 125 amps and the resistance for copper is 0.436 so therefore the volt drop across both conductors will be 54,5 volts. Right, now in part C we need to calculate the resistance of the aluminium conductor and the shortcut here to calculate the resistance for aluminium we're going to use the voltage which across that parallel combination divided by the current okay so the voltage is 54,5 and the current through the aluminium branch is 75 amps so therefore the resistance for aluminium is not comma 727 ohms. Right, in part D, a lot more difficult. We need to work out the diameter of the aluminium conductor. We have the resistivity here for aluminium. Uh, to calculate the diameter, we have to obviously use the formula for area. Just to remind you of that formula pi d squared over 4. So, therefore, to calculate the diameter. Now we need to get rid of that square, so therefore we will square root both sides. Okay, so it will be A times 4, 4 times A divided by pi. That will give us the diameter. Okay, so before we do that, obviously we do need to have the area before we can calculate the diameter. Uh, just to remind you of the formula for resistance, it is the resistivity times the length over the area. So therefore, to calculate the area, okay, we just manipulate the equation. 
it will be the resistivity for aluminium multiplied by the length of aluminium divided by the resistance for aluminium. Okay, so now we have the resistivity. Don't forget to convert micrometers to ohmmeters times 10 to the power of minus 6. The cable length is exactly the same. It's 725 meters. Okay, and the resistance that we worked out previously is 0 0.727. So therefore, the area 2, 792 times 10 to the minus 5 and it's meters squared. Right, now we can actually go ahead and work out the diameter. Don't forget the square root sign. Okay, 4 times and the area, let me just put that in brackets, 2,792 times 10 to the minus 5 and that's meter square over pi. So therefore, the diameter for the aluminium cable, and I'm going to simplify to millimeters, will give us 5962 millimeters. Okay, thanks for watching this video for two conductors in parallel.